Number 66. The pH of a 0.15 molar solution of HSO4- is 1.43. Determine the Ka for HSO4- from these data. Okie dokie. So let's just see. They told us we had a pH value of a, a concentrated solution, but they told us that the pH value is 1.43. So we have a pH of 1.43. Okay, so it's it's less than seven, so we're, we're dealing with a very, you know, acidic acid, right? Or acidic solution. Now, just know that any time that you see that you have a pH value, these are always at equilibrium. So it's good to spot those out, you know, before we get in any deeper into this uh, question. So they gave us an equilibrium value of some sort of a pH of 1.43. Now, they did say that, you know, we started off with 0.15 molarity solution of HSO4 minus. So we have a 0 0.15 molar HSO4 minus. Okay. And from both of these information, we want to find out the Ka value, right? The ionization constant for the acid HSO4 minus. Now, the thing is, is that to find a Ka, Ka's are always coming from a balanced equation. And in this case, we have to talk about the actual acid, HSO4 minus. Now, the good thing with acids, if we do write their balanced equation, HSO4, this is like all over the place, HSO4 minus, right? With acids, you could just write the dissociation. HSO4 minus is not one of our six strong acids. So we can just basically write down that it's in equilibrium. And with acids, Remember, they always lose one of their hydrogens. So this hydrogen that was bound with the SO4 is now just going to be free. So the break apart is between the H and then the SO4, right? So I now will have H plus and then plus SO4. And sulfate, right, is, is always negative 2. And remember, when you... Um, lose a hydrogen, you always minus one to the overall charge. This was a negative one, so negative one minus one is a negative two. So that's why we get that. Okay, now let's see. They told us that we had a 0.15 molar solution of HSO4. This is indicating that this is the only thing that we started with, right? This does not play any part in the actual dissociation of the two ions. So this, the 0.5 molar, is initial. So this is initially what you started with. No ionization. And since they gave you an initial, and they gave you equilibrium values of a weak acid, we need to do the ice table. So I'm just going to make that quickly for myself. Since this is an acid, I will do everything in red. Red for acids. Maybe I'll just bring this a little bit down. Beautiful. I just know that any time that you have charred species, those are always aqueous. And aqueous guys are allowed in your Ka expression. And we did say initially that the, we started off with HSO4- minus of a 0 0.15 molar solution. So I'm just going to put the number here. They did not state that I started with any H plus or sulfate ion, right? So zero and zero. I didn't start off with any of that. And now C stands for change, right? You can't go lower than nothing that you have, right? So the product side is going to increase and the reactant side is going to drop, decrease. So I know that the product side has to be plus and the reactant side have to be minus. Let's just say we don't know what it is. So we use the variable x, right? So this would be minus x, plus x, and plus x. Good thing with acids and bases is that they're always going to be a one-to-one -one relationship, so you don't have to worry about, you know, plus 2x or minus 3x. E stands for equilibrium, and that's just the combination of your initial with your change. So 0.15 minus x is literally 0.15 minus x. 0 plus x is just x. 0 plus x is just x. Okay, now we say, all right, maybe we could actually get some x values. Why did they give us this pH? Well, we know that it has to do something with equilibrium. So somewhere in here, right? And I say to myself, do I know any formulas that have to do with pH? 
Oh, this one. If I want to find that H plus concentration, the hydronium, which is here, all I have to do is just 10 to the negative pH. That's at equilibrium. So if I want to just solve for the H plus, all I have to do is 10 to the negative 1.43. And if the pH was at equilibrium, this H plus concentration is also at equilibrium. So Calci's out. 10 to the negative 1.43. I'm not going to round it just yet because um, that's not the, you know, the full answer. So I'm just going to give it a couple of decimals, 0.037, I don't know, 2. Looks good to me. And that's molarity. And look, that's what X was. So if this is what the molarity of H plus is, 0 0.0372, and these are both X values, this would be the same amount. And now we know what this would be, 0.15 minus x, x was 0 0.0372, so now I just have to do 0.15 minus 0 0.0372. So let's see what that is. 0.15 minus 0 0.0372. And I get 0 0.1128. Now I have all of my equilibrium concentrations. Finally, we can use these to solve for a Ka, right? Because Ka, the formula for Ka is always products divided by reactants. We got two products. And remember, if you have multiple products in your Ka equation, it's always multiplying. So in this case, it's H plus times SO4, the sulfate, 2 minus, divided by HSO4 minus. Plug them in, so Ka equals, let's see, that's good enough. H plus was 0 0.0372, so was the H, actually so was the sulfate, SO4 uh, minus, so 372, divided by 0 0.1128, that's the equilibrium for HSO4. And now we're finally going to get the equation, point zero, actually the answer, right? Point zero three seven two times point zero three seven two divided by point one one two eight. And without scientific notation, it would be point zero one two. And I think I I think I did that correctly. Yeah, that looks about right. Okay, and that's your answer. No units for Ka value. And there you go. That's it. They just wanted that Ka value, 0 0.012. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Let's keep working hard. And if you want to help us out, please press the subscribe button and tell your friends, tell your classmates about this cool YouTube channel. Just want to get the word out there, you know, to make sure that people all across the world know about this channel. And I thank you so much for that. Without you guys, we would be nothing. All right? So thank you. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.